This last video uh, of three where we talk about sustainability and circularity really has got us thinking about the need to develop and manage the processes for returning logistics, reverse logistics, around the waste hierarchy. Uh, we have to think about things like company acceptance guidelines, regulatory requirements, any recall guidelines, customer expectations. So as we develop our new reverse logistics processes, we definitely need to stay mindful of and meet the emerging and evolving requirements that are going to be placed, if not have already been placed in some cases, on people and organizations for sustainability going forward. I think we could even argue we should be proactively involved in the creation of these requirements rather than have them imposed or mandated on us. So the impact becomes, well, actually the reason why more than impact is it gives us a better opportunity to define our future in terms of just not meeting or not just meeting what the customer wants, but what society wants and what we want in order to exceed. And so that gives us more control over our future and our supply chain versus decisions and mandates that are imposed upon us.